Welcome to this tutorial video. Today we will use the sort function to sort the data in this sheet. Step number one, create a new table. A dynamic table can be created in either this same sheet or a new one. It will be a copy of the original data set, but in an organized format. To keep things clear, I would suggest keeping the names of the header similar. Since this is a simple table with only three columns, let's just create the new table on this same sheet. Step half. Step number two. Sort data using the sort function. This is the main part. Once the dynamic table has been created, select the first empty cell of the new table, double click and type equal sign sort. From the pop-up, click on the first option, or as suggested, press the tab key. These new values we have here are called arguments. Each of these arguments are instructions that Sheets put together to sort data. The first argument we have is range. This command is to target how much of the data should be sorted. In this case, let's go with the entire table. Be careful not to select the headers. Pressing the comma key moves the selection to the next argument. As you can see, it is moved to the column number argument. I will put one here, as we would like to sort department-wise. It is the first column in the original table. Press the comma key again to move the selection to is ascending argument. This is where sheets can be commanded to either sort the data in an ascending or a descending order. Since we'd like the department sorted A to Z, an ascending order, I will go ahead and type true. To sort in descending order, we respond with false to this argument. Complete the bracket and hit the enter key. There we have it, nice and clean. As you can see, all the data has been successfully sorted in this new table. We can change any entry within the original table and it will be automatically updated in the other one. Avoid editing anything on the new table. Sort is an array formula. These formulas are sensitive to editing. As evident, as soon as I make a change here, everything in the new table disappears. To bring it all back, simply undo the new changes or press Ctrl plus Z. So there it is, folks. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more useful Google Sheets tips. Thanks for watching.